Universe, DC Comics Digital Card Game. Before you get started, let me show you how to navigate it. Hmm, looks like we're gonna have to cut this little tour short. Come with me. I have a feeling that you may learn something from this. Rampage ends now, Grundy. In order to eliminate Solomon Grundy, we'll have to deal him damage equal to his health before he can take us down. We'll have to get help from some recruits. Play Robin anywhere on our side of the battlefield by dragging him to an open space. Recruits interplay exhausted so they won't be able to attack on the turn you play them. For now, we'll have to wait. On their turn, your opponents will play recruits to their side of the battlefield. Robin is ready to attack. Drag him to attack Manbat or Solomon Grundy directly. job. Now let's give Robin some backup by playing Batgirl. Solomon Grundy! Poor Alamundi! We can't attack Grundy with a recruit in the way. We'll have to take down Clayface before we can put a stop to Grundy. This is my city. No one threatens Gotham on my watch. Kill Croc is out of control. Let's play Green Arrow to KO Croc so we can take out Grundy for good. Game over, Grundy. Thanks for the help with Grundy, but be careful. Gotham is filled with monsters worse than that. Where were we? Right. The first thing I want to show you is how to adjust the contrast on. Uh, reports are coming in that the Joker and Lex Luthor have been spotted with a dangerous machine across town. Uh, the hero's job is never done. we try to take on two powerful villains, it may be a good idea for us to call backup of our own. Stand by while I contact Wonder Woman. Dr. Quinzel, at your service. Harley? No. I don't think you're the kind of backup I had in mind. Yeah, yeah, I've got it, Babs.
The device is almost ready, Joker. Just doing some final calibrations. Ooh! I can hardly wait! Gotham will be nothing but a pile of rubble! <laughs> and I've arranged things so Superman will take all the blame. So, we're here to put an end to your twisted scheme. Why, hello, bats! Funny seeing you here. Harley! What are you doing here? Are you helping Batman? Sorry, I can't let you guys just destroy Gotham. I live here. Besides, there's an amazing taco joint on 8th Street. You just gotta try their house guacamole. Enough rambling. It's time for the fun to begin! The Joker and Lex Luthor are working together. We'll need to defeat both leaders to win this battle. Luckily, we have backup as well. Each turn, we gain access to resources that we can spend to play cards. Use our bronze resource to play Catwoman. Hmm. We've used all our resources this turn. Robin will have to wait until next turn. the spirit, Baldy! Let's show these boneheads <laughs> what they're dealing with! Our resource from last turn is replenished, and we've gained a second one. We can play both our recruits this turn. Take that, you jerks! You got any more tricks in that utility belt? Now would be a good time to use them. One of our resources has been upgraded to silver. We can spend it to play Nightwing. are not the only cards we have to rely on to win the game. Actions, unlike recruits, don't get played to the battlefield, but instead give us a one-time effect to help us win the battle. Looks like we've drawn two bronze cards. Even though we don't have any bronze resources, you can always use a higher tier resource to play a lower cost card. We can use our silver resource to play either card. This is bad. Brainiac's forces are us. <laughs> One of our silver resources upgraded to gold. From this point forward, we'll have a silver and a gold resource to use each turn. I'm going to leave it to you to take down the enemy leaders. You got here just in time, cyborg.
I'm glad that's over with. Now, it's taco time! That's not how I expected that to go down, but at least Gotham is safe for another night. Now, let me show you the five best cards in the game. Start. I just received an alert from a friend up north. We should give him some help. Then, maybe he can walk you through this game. Hurting a sweet little plant. How pathetic. They will pay for what they have done to you. I can't let you do that. Put the plant down, Ivy. Did you not realize this rose had thorns? leader abilities all leaders have a charge ability each turn your leaders will gain a charge once they have accumulated enough charges you can spend them to activate that leader's ability activating Superman will give him seven power and make him invincible for the turn when I'm invincible I can't be damaged or KO'd by enemies Every leader's charge ability is unique, so make sure to investigate each one, including our enemies, to see what they're capable of. drawn a recruit with shield shield will protect a character by absorbing all of the damage from the next hit they would take then the shield goes away I can also attack this turn, just like our recruits. You monsters! Have you no shame? Thank <laughs> you. 
like Superman is ready to use his charge ability. You should use him to KO Giganta. Stand back. I'll handle this one. have done it better myself. Ooh, <laughs> how deadly. One down and one to go. That's it. Your compost. Hunter. The Hunter ability allows recruits to attack any enemy, even if they're being protected by a front row recruit. Welcome to DC Dual Force. This is the main menu. From here, you can access the various modes and features that Dual Force has to offer. Let me give you some dual coins. These coins can be used to purchase new card packs and enter certain game modes. Let's use them to buy a card pack. Press the store button when you're ready. This is the store. Here, you can browse through all the card packs, cosmetics, and other goods available for purchase. You can see how many dual coins and gems you have to spend here. Select this pack of cards. Card packs can be purchased one at a time or in bundles. Now, press this button to purchase a single pack using your dual coins. 
advised not to use my x-ray vision to peek, so you'll need to open your packs for us to see what's inside. From this screen, you can open your packs to access the cards within. Drag the pack into the center area to open it. Cards you gain from packs will be automatically added to your collection. You should feel free to explore on your own now. If you want to look at the cards you've collected, or modify one of your decks, you can go into your collection here. I'll leave it up to you to decide what to do next. Goodbye for now, and good luck to you! Hey there, it's your buddy Vic. You probably know me as Cyborg. Welcome to your collection. This is where you go when you want to build a new deck or make changes to an existing one, or just browse the cards that you unlocked. This is the deck screen. You can see all your decks displayed here. Selecting one of your decks will allow you to begin modifying. Oh, and feel free to rename your deck. Cyborg is the best, if you want to. Ha ha, booyah! The leader screen lets you assign the two leader characters that will be the foundation of your deck. To assign a leader character, drag them into the leader spaces on the right. When you're satisfied with your choices, hit the confirm button. I'll leave you to it. of your deck's assigned leaders. Your deck needs an equal number of cards from each of your leader's factions. So choose your leader's character. If you want to remove a card from your deck, just drag it out the list. Likewise, you can add a card from your deck by dragging it from your collection over to the list. Trust me, it's not as tricky as it looks. You can use the deck details button to see a helpful breakdown of card cost and time. And just a little friendly advice, Try to keep a good mix of bronze, silver, and gold cards in your deck. I'll leave the rest up to you. Mm. 